But we are set for a start. Referee is Gavin Colfer again. You're with Kieran Burke and Lyle Fitzpatrick on LOI TV for the final time this season as the game gets underway. Switch ball, that's where that ball was intended for. Thompson has a lot of space out here, so if Bray can measure that cross-field pass, it could be an avenue into the game. That looks like a handball from Jack Hudson. Big appeals go up. And has the whistle gone? <laughs> There's no whistle. Put the hand, Ray! I think he is going to give the handball against Jack Hudson. I think it was so. Callum Thompson going to have a run here at Gavin O'Brien. Thompson does well to keep it in play, but easily dispossessed by O'Brien. With a sloppy pass, though, and uh, Kyle O'Connor can't latch onto it. Chris Lyons can. Lyons trying to win something now over on that far side. Has he kept it in play? Yeah, he's done really well. This could be an early chance. That's a big save from Jack Hudson to deny Bray. and Passes and neither team, as you said, probably Bray are probably playing that little bit better. Uh, Callum Thompson has been good when he's got on the ball here on the wing and he's been cutting inside. But Ball out to the far side now for <coughs> Connor Knight. He's pinned by Kyle O'Connor, but he's done well to get across in and the goalkeeper's lost his foot. And, and a very important header at the back post from Gavin O'Brien. Atmosphere Bishop's Gate, it is very flat. It's a dead rubber for the home side, Longford Town, and that's been seen in the atmosphere around the ground. It's very quiet and both teams seem to be struggling to pick themselves up as a result but here come Longford now trying to inject some life into this game through Wickstead he gets it out to Kyle O'Connor O'Connor plenty of pace on the cross but straight into the hands of Matthew Connor. you have the yeah, scores for a slide yeah poor form and poor luck in, in that case Wickstead to O'Connor O'Connor has managed to get away from his man and he's made some room for himself down the middle of the park Bastion Heary has found Gavin O'Brien out on the right hand side of the penalty area it's a low cross and again that's the third consecutive cross into the area that's gone straight into the hands of the goalkeeper Matthew Connor. Massey moves it on again this time inside to Harry Groom Groom to Almiral who was looking for the back heel didn't pay off on this occasion that's a good ball in behind the Bray defence to Ola Adeyemo he's only got Whitmarsh in support so Ola's going to go himself and he does force a save out of Matthew Connor, but easy save in the end looked like it was trickling wide at that right hand post anyway yeah. O'Brien looking for Whitmarsh but there's another ball that Longford tried to play over the top and easily intercepted by Brett there Massey hits one down the channel that's a good ball from Massey to Callum Thompson Thompson low ball into the area and it is Darren Craven back to haunt his old side one nil to the Wanderers and his very short League of Ireland career he's uh, 29 years of age but this is only his third season in the league having uh, joined from the non-leagues goes to show there are good players out there outside of the League of Ireland Adeyemo to O'Connor didn't really get a hold of it but it finds its way back to Adeyemo who's positive and gets a strong shot in on goal fizzes over the bar Connor was worried though this is a much better ball this time from here to Gavin O'Brien but O'Brien is out number 2v1 and that pressure tells as Dan Massey comes away with possession. He's got Callum Thompson outside again, but he goes down the middle to Darren Craven. Craven, this is lovely link-up play. Flow and move from Bray Wonders. Can they finish it off? It's blocked by Louis Temple. Did really well, kept his hands behind his back, and he uses his back to block it away. That was a Jack Harrington's worried as well because he's got quite a big four-man wall there. Craven, keeper spilt it. Flag has gone up, it's crossed the line, 2-0. It's a double for Darren Craven. And Bray Wonders, their promotion lives, prom promotion chances looking quite good at the moment. With the lines one there that it wasn't working there. Uh... Usually they'd stop the game to fix that though. But... Anyway, game continues. Massey with the cross into the area, headed away by Louis Temple. It's well won by Al Morali, gets the ball out to the danger man again, Callum Thompson. Thompson goes on the outside, floats it into the area, shot on goal, flashes wide. Again, it's the nature of the challenge. Referees don't appreciate that. Yeah, it's just this is a big test now of mental character here for Jack Harrington. It's a very similar situation, this free kick, to the one he conceded from earlier on where he made that mistake. And I'm sure Bray want to test out that character with a shot on goal. And this time, Harrington does get his body and his hands behind the ball to keep it out. But that was Craven. Left them wide open to a potential Bray counter-attack now. Knight, good control, finds Groom. Groom, that's a great ball over the top towards Callum Thompson. Thompson and the fanciest chances here. Having a run at Gavin O'Brien. He goes on the outside of O'Brien. Good low cross in towards Chris Lyons. Lyons side netting. But it couldn't get on it though. Kyle O'Connor has it now against the corner flag. His cross is blocked. Will it run through to Adeyemo? It will. He should have laid that off Adeyemo. He continues with possession though. Kyle O'Connor 
Gives it to Daly. Daly with the cross. Adiemo with the stupid header. Easy save for the goalkeeper. Matthew Connor. Here again. That's a poor pass. Commentator's curse. Gives it to Massey. Taken down by Knight. Knight tries one over the top towards Lyons. Good covering from Dylan Hand, who has been a good addition to that town back four since he signed in the summer from Warren Point. Campbell, bit of space. Tempting cross. Connor read it really well, but that's a much better ball in from a, from a wide player for Longford Town. Yeah, um, he doesn't really speak much English. I, I know it's not his first language. And, you know, like there, there's nobody out there barking the orders, demanding more of, yeah. of these Longford players, you know. And Daly chips it in towards Whitmarsh. Whitmarsh with the shot. That's a brilliant block from Harry Groom. Victor Sodenia let it go out for the corner. We mentioned in the first half, Groom breaking up a lot of play. Return to the League of Ireland in mid July from Egyptian football. Having obviously played in the league previously with the likes of UCD, Shells, and Harps. And he scored in that famous playoff game for UCD against Longford. Longford looking for a goal here through Whitmarsh. Oh, it's a save. Small. Small signs of some sort of Longford Town revival, at least. I think it was more just a, a lapse in concentration from the, the, the Bray there, just for a couple of seconds. Um. Hand to Ross Fay. Fay, lovely cross towards Whitmarsh. Connor palms it away. Nobody there to turn it home for Longford, but that's. So then you just give Almiral a little nudge. Kyle O'Connor over the top towards Whitmarsh but again he's going to have to beat two Bray players to it Bray bit of miscommunication there poor clearance allows Whitmarsh to gain possession of the ball it's a good cross Frank Campbell on back back post yes! Longford are back in the game and I was just well, not the first time we've said that over the last few minutes no and, and this is this has been good play by Longford here but I think part of it also is Bray have probably dropped a bit deep it's probably look you're looking at 80 minutes in the game here now maybe a few tired legs there but Longford definitely starting to move it with more zip and purpose and there's an example of that that's a great ball from Whitmarsh to Campbell Campbell across the six yard box there's Omora him one once again right. Bray were playing with that high press for most of the game and Longford they were kind of the loose balls and the loose touches and stuff and they were inviting Bray on but Bray just seemed to be sitting a little bit deeper here Bray now Bray have totally switched off from the throw in they allow Bastian Heary to receive it in their half but Heary he's made a big mistake he's given it away Yo-Yo Maddy chance to kill the game Maddy what a save from Harrington outside of his box so he couldn't use his hands but he got a big right leg out Crowley giving away the free kick in an area that will have Derek Daly licking his lips scored from this sort of range against Treaty in the most recent home game James Duna there as well inquiring whether he can hit it and maybe get that first league goal but it's going to be Daly it's on target from Daly but saved by Connor. no pace in it this is absolutely incredible. Anyway, it's Harrington with the last chance. Free kick for Longford. Hail Mary into the box. There's Cole Amore, him one with the header again. So Denier takes it down to the edge of the area, finds Armstrong. What a cross! And it's 2 2! It's still at hand oh in the dying seconds of the game. It doesn't mean much to Longford in terms of their season, but it could be curtains for Bray's promotion chances.